Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. I'm Richie, and this is Jailbreak. Today we're gonna to take a look at three very common, very good pocket or portable survival saws. We're gonna start with the pocket boy, we're gonna work our way to the Baco, and then we're gonna finish it up with the Sven saw. And I'm gonna show you what each one of these can do and which one might possibly be the best fit for what it is that you do. So check this out. So today I'm deep out in the woods, I'm in the middle of the forest, and it's been very, very windy here, so there is plenty of downed timber every place. There's so many different varieties of portable saw that you could use. Which one's the best? Well, let me show you what these can do. We're gonna start off with the Pocket Boy, this by Silky Saw. The Pocket Boy by Silky Saw literally comes in a little plastic container, and you can wear it on your hip. That's pretty phenomenal. It's small, it's portable. It folds right out and it locks in several positions. Now be very cautious of these teeth because they are sharp. These guys came onto the scene about a decade ago, I'm gonna guess, and they changed the game. This saw is amazing and I'm gonna show you exactly why. Check this out, look how this goes through a a fairly live tree branch that's down that's been downed recently that's about as big as my wrist As you can see, this isn't totally dead at all. This still has a lot of life in it, this tree branch. Okay, so this time we're gonna try it on a much larger log. This is about the size of my leg. Again, the silky saw allows you to position it and lock it in place. You see what I'm saying? Now that's not too bad at all, so considering not too bad, and it fits in a staggeringly small package. Like I said, it weighs next to nothing, has a great rubberized grip with a beautiful blade on it. They make a variety of versions. I wanted this particular one just because of its small size. I carry one of these in my escape and evade bag at all times, so there's that. So for ease of use, convenience, and weight, this is definitely something you might want to look at as an emergency survival or EDC saw. That's just my opinion. Let's take a look at the Baco Laplander, a very, very common, incredibly popular saw. Now this guy is the Baco Lap Laplander. 
incredibly popular saw. These have, these have been around for years and years and years. It's a good, good majority longer than the uh, Silky Pocket Boy, but it is what it is. And it's only able to lock in this one position. That's it. It's got an easy to release locking button on the side. Press the button, pull it out. It comes with a small rawhide or leather lanyard already on it. And to be perfectly honest, the, the construction of the Pocket Boy has got a better feel. I mean, this is very, very lightweight, but I believe this is almost all plastic except for the blade and the locking mechanism inside. The rest of it is all plastic. You see what I mean? But, you know, it is what it is. Let's see how well it cuts. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, correct? Okay, same, same drill once again. Here's another bridge about the size of my wrist. Let's try the lap lander. Not too bad, not too bad. It got right through that, no problem. Not too bad. Now let's try the branch. That's about the size of my leg. Now remember, this wood is soaking wet. I did use my right hand with it, so that's kind of cheating. But the shape of it gave me a good grip on it. The only drawback of the Silky Boy was the release mechanism was right where my thumb was, so I was very conscious of that. I didn't want to accidentally release the blade while I was cutting. So there's that. So that, I'd say the Baco went through it pretty damn well. So now let's take a look at the final contestant. And now this is a serious saw. This is the Sven saw. They come in two sizes. I just recently got one for a, for a bug out bag that I'm building for a subscriber, which is the longer version. The version I'm gonna use for this right now is the one that I carry in my truck or my backpack at all times. And I've carried this particular saw for, I'm gonna say 11 years. So let's give it its turn, shall we? Okay, this is the Sven saw. It's made of all metal, which is aluminum. It comes with a lanyard on the end. And you'll see this wing nut right here. You simply loosen the wing nut, wing nut without getting the lanyard caught in it. You pull this out and now be very cautious. The blade is sharp. You slide the bolt end into this hole, the square end into this hole. and then reattach the wing nut. And what you have is a portable, full-size logging saw. This will cut a tree branch or a log. This will cut a log that's at least, you know, it's pretty big. So let's take a look and see how well it goes through these guys. A tree branch about the size of my wrist. That's it. Okay, the large log, that is the size of my leg, and we're actually bumping it up a bit to the larger end of the log.
that's it. Now that's how big the ones we did the other two saws with was. And that's much, much larger. It's a good inch in diameter larger. So those are the three top selling saws. The Silky, the Baco, they did this end. And the Seven saw went right through this end. And again, as far as portability, the, as far as portability, the Silky saw is by far the smallest, easiest to carry. But the Sven saw, folds down into this little package. It's less than an inch wide, it's less than a half inch thick, and it's a little under, well, let's see. I'm gonna say it's about 18 inches long. And this can fit anywhere, especially a backpack. Any type of a backpack, you can slide this bad boy in. No problem whatsoever at all. In my and opinion. prices, as far as what these cost, it's, it's, it is, they're all in the exact same ballpark as far as price goes. I've carried these saws all over the United States and I've used them for years and years. Whether it was in the desert out in Arizona, the mountains of California, the mountains of New Hampshire, I've carried the Sven saw in my truck and in my backpack. It is basically hands down my favorite saw for portability and how much wood you can process with this thing. It's totally amazing. But then there's also the silky saw. Bare minimum bug out bag. Beside my wallet, I always have this with me. And inside here, right in the center, I have this bad Larry. It's called a pocket boy, and it's small. You see what I'm saying? For portability, you cannot beat the pocket boy by Silky Saw. It's tiny. It literally fits in my escape and evade bag, and you can process a serious amount of wood with it. The pocket boy goes for about between 39 and 50 bucks. The blade's made of high carbon steel. It's made of rubber and steel, the handle itself, the width is under two inches, and they make a variety of different shapes and sizes for different areas and different needs, whatever your case may be. I've had great luck with the Pocket Boy, and I've had mine for years and never had to change the blade, which is awesome. It's really sturdy. The Baco Laplander has been around forever. It's owned by Snap-on Corporation, which sells tools for automotive repair, etc. It's warranted for defects for the life of it, the usable life of the product. The blade's made of steel, the handle's made of rubber, the liner lock is also made of steel. It has a good feel in hand, but it's not the first knife or saw that I go to, ever. You can pick one up for about 25 bucks or less on Amazon. Sometimes they give you a deal where you can get a knife with it. Now last but not least, and my personal favorite, is the Sven saw. It's made in Minnesota, so it's made right here in the United States. It comes in two sizes, the 21 inch long version and the 15 inch long version. And for me, for my backpack, for my vehicle, this is hands down the first saw that I go to, period. It always works. I'm still working with the same blade that I've had for 11 years, and you saw how quickly it went through that wood. You can pick one up on Amazon for 35 bucks or less, and you can also pick them up at REI Sporting Goods. I hope you enjoyed this review. Links to purchase any of these saws will be pinned in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Leave a comment and I will return the favor. I am out.